Hello everyone, welcome to the channel The Scientific Piano Teacher. My name is Fanny. Today I'm going to talk about a person who was very famous in the early 20th century. And he was a famous composer, a famous pianist, as well as a teacher. He has a nickname Buddha of the Piano, and his compositions are technically really, really, really demanding. He wrote a lot of transcription, and the most well-known one is the 53 studies um, on Chopin etudes. And his name is Leopold Godowski. Leopold Godowski was born in 1870 in Lithuania. His music journey began at a very young age, and he was mostly self-taught. He mentioned in his autobiography that he had never had any lessons for more than three months. He started composing at age five and gave his first concert at age nine. He began his concert career in the United States when he turned 14. He later came back to Europe for a tour and became the protege of Camille Saint-Saëns. Godowski and his wife Frida Sachs have three children. Their eldest son, Leopold Godowski Jr., was the husband of George Gershwin's sister, Frances, and he was also the co-inventor of Kodachrome phototransparency firm, as well as a violinist. Their daughter, Dagma, was an actress in various silent films. Their youngest son, Gordon, perhaps worried them the most. He actually gave up his life in 1932, and Godowski's wife, Frida, passed away a year later. Godowski's late life was very depressing, with the loss of his son and his wife, as well as, as suffering from uh, financial difficulty and also a severe stroke, which left him partially paralyzed. Godowski did not give any public performances in his last part of life. He died of stomach cancer at the age of 68. As a teacher, Godowski started teaching in the late 1890s in the U.S. He taught at New York College of Music, the Gilbert Reynolds Combs Broad Street Conservatory in Philadelphia, and later he settled in Chicago and taught at the Chicago Conservatory. By the late 1890s, he was already very well known in the U.S., and he had a lot of famous students. One student that I want to mention here is Heinrich Neuhaus, who was the teacher of Ritter and Emil Gillos. He has made a lot of contributions to the piano pedagogy, but today I'm going to talk about his idea of rate releases. According to Gudowski, our fingers should look light as they are glued to the keys as to avoid using extra motion and energy. To do that, we need to have both our hands and arms relaxed and shouldn't feel heavy. The top of our hand is on a level with forearm. When playing the gato, for instance, we should use the fleshy part behind the tip and use a pulling motion rather than striking the keys. In passages where force is required, a pushing motion should be applied. That's all for today and I hope you all enjoyed this video. And please hit the subscribe button if you really like it and also like this video if you really like it. And please subscribe to this channel as I just said and subscribe to our Facebook page and our Instagram as well. And see you again soon. Please stay healthy, stay happy and have a good new year. Bye.